pressure, I wasn't there to keep on the scene, but I am really nervous. So, I was actually going to try and memorise today's speech, but unfortunately I do struggle to try and clear my internet history. <laughs> Joanne can vouch for that. In fact, let me just check you a minute. I've not checked my iPad for a while, actually. Redtube.com, let's get rid of that. <laughs> So I've decided to call my speech today the miniskirt speech. It's, uh, it's long enough to cover all the essentials, but short enough to hold, of all, hold, hold of all your attention. <laughs> On behalf of me and my wife, Joanne, <laughs> thank you all for coming and welcome to everybody from Sheffield, Manchester, Woolwich, <laughs> Frisney, <laughs> Swansea, <laughs> Newcastle, <laughs> Hull Beach, and Northern and Southern Ireland. It's all about our special day. And to be honest, it wouldn't be the same without you all here today. But it would be a lot cheaper. <laughs> I'm sure you all agree how stunning Joanne looks today and of the rest of the bride and party. So me and Joanne, we both grew up living in the same areas. We both started our life in Killamarsh. And then we both moved to Southall when Joanne was nine and I was eight and a half. <laughs> Sorry, Joanne. So after growing up in the same areas and living so close together, our paths, they didn't really cross until about, about 10 years ago when Joanne used to do Margaret's, my mum's nails. She would come round, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> She'd come round and we'd sit in the conservatory and obviously Margaret would have her nails done and they'd talk and me and my dad would say, I wish you'd hurry up and go home. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to carry an, a, an all the nail stuff back to a car when she finished. But this went on for a while and one night we got, we got talking in the Georgian Dragon, which is a pub that, that people don't know was, was a pub in Bayton. <laughs> And we were there for a, a rough cuts night, which basically was a night of like a few local DJs. Ryu, give us away, Ryu. They, they were the local superstar DJs at the time, or they thought they were anyway. <laughs> so I asked Joanne if we could go out for a drink, and to be honest, I don't think we got a response. I think she said, I can't remember because I were absolutely smashed. <laughs> um, so. So that was that, and then, anyway, a few weeks later, she was on nail duty again, and we kind of crossed on the drive. <laughs> Joanne had finished doing her nails, now we're coming home, and she said to me, I'd like to go out for that drink. But at this time, I'd met somebody else and was in a relationship. Uh, so I, di I didn't have the balls to tell her, so I just said something like, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, I think she found out through my mum later on, a few weeks later. <laughs> Anyway, Joanne went on to meet somebody else, but then Ruby came along. <laughs> Ruby came along and Ruby entered the world. Hello, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful, like a little princess in a dress today. So, about a year later, we were in the Belfry one Saturday night, and I was stood at the end of the bar, and Joanne appeared with a beaming smile. We got talking, and we ended up going back to my mum and dad's house while you were in bed. Obviously, you didn't know we were there. <laughs> And we, were, we were sat in the conservatory and she asked me if I wanted any, my nails doing so it. Like, oh, <laughs> so it's not, not for me that to do. So, uh, anyway, I ended, we ended up chatting, we had a few drinks and I walked to room. Uh, apparently that night Jessica had asked Joanne to go out for a drink and she wasn't really that bothered because she wasn't really bothered about going out drinking in Bayton. But she ended up going and she met me. So I'm a big believer in fate and believe that fate brought all three of us together when it did. I've witnessed Ruby walk, crawl, uh, talk, grow into a beautiful, polite, friendly, caring, and sharing little girl that she is. <laughs> Apart from when she threw me iPad in the paddling pool. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew Joanne was the one for me when we got over the passive wind in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> People always say that after the honeymoon period, trumping in front of your partner, that is a major step.